Hey everybody, in today's video, I am going to riff on my most recent video using alcohol ink, gesso, and foil, but this time we're going to have a different finish. This is a beautiful 3D embossing folder that I'm starting with, and you can see my previous video, I'll link it on screen, for leading up to the process that I'm starting right now, which is just randomly applying alcohol ink all over this image. Now you really just need to touch the alcohol ink to the surface and it sort of flows out of the bottle. And then just tip it, let it run around, choose where you want your various colors. They will mix, which is part of the fun. You can see in some spots where this gold color is overlapping with the pink color that I put on first, and it's creating a very warm red look. Now, this one went a little bit crazy, <laughs> so a little bit more than I wanted to came out. But again, I'm getting the overlapping color, and I'm getting a deep purple where it touches the pink, which is very fun. So just know that you can't really control how, how these come out of the bottle, and that is completely fine. So I will add a final color here. I'm going with just a lime green, even though my blue and my yellow are sort of creating a green. This one has a little bit warmer tone than that. The uh, first one is kind of a cool green. So I'm getting a little bit of contrast here. And you can see how it just hugs the details of these embossing folders in a way that I find really, really appealing. So I will fill in these last little bits. I love how it makes the alcohol ink sort of glow with that opaque background. It's a very fun foundation for the two different techniques that I'm showing you in these two videos. Now you'll want to let this just air dry. I don't ever heat dry alcohol ink since they are a solvent base. That's just not my preference. So you'll want to let this dry completely before we go on to the next step. But you can see all of these details. You're getting a little bit of the shine of the foil, but still the opacity that makes it look like a tintile from the gesso, which is a really fun base. Now I have some alcohol here. And at first, I'm just going to brayer over the top. I've sprayed the brayer with alcohol, and you can see it picking up the ink. And that is lightening up some of those details of the 3D embossing folder. And you can see it transferring to my brayer. It's a really fun way to just pop those details. You could leave it right here and not go on to the second part. But you know me. I'm always going to go on. So we're going to keep going. But this is a viable technique that with really beautiful results. So now I've sprayed a little bit of alcohol onto a paper towel. And I'm very precisely going in and removing the ink from some of these 3D details all the way down to the foil. This is such a fun, like, peekaboo sort of technique to let that tin foil do its magic and shine through all the layers of mediums that we have put on top. It's, I call this an archaeology technique. I like archaeology techniques. I have several on my channel. Almost all of them involve embossing folders, building up layers, and then removing media from the tops, the raised portion of embossed images. It's an archaeological technique that I really enjoy. <laughs> One of them I learned from my friend Mel, who's just a mixed media genius. That is the faux fresco technique, and I think I have several different methods, three or four different ways to do that on my channel. I will try to remember to link these in the video. If I forget, just leave me a comment and I'll go back and get my wits about me and put links to these on the screen. But the point is that you can use embossing folders in a ton of different ways. 
There's such an economical craft supply, and there are so many mixed media techniques that use embossing folders that you'll just never run out of ideas for them. Never not one time (laughs) have I thought, I need to get rid of some of my embossing folders. I really, I don't, unless I don't like the design, the pattern of it, this is a supply that I always keep around and I don't de-stash. I try to find embossing folders like this one that have a multi-purpose feel to them. So for example, if there's an embossing folder that says happy birthday or Merry Christmas or whatever, that's kind of a one-trick pony. You're really only going to use those for those occasions. I prefer design elements that I can use with multiple techniques for multiple occasions to create beautiful backgrounds like these. See that silver coming through? Is that not magical? This looks like some sort of high-end sculptural something or another. Whatchamacallit? Do maflachi. Do picky. Those are all the words I have for that. But it is a beautiful, beautiful look. Very inexpensive supplies that most of us have. And it's just a fun way to make these little details pop. Now, while I'm doing this, you will notice that in some of the places where I had gotten kind of hard edges, where two or more of the inks had pooled together, you can go in with this very precise lifting that I'm doing with alcohol and a paper towel, and you can lighten up some of those areas. A lot of them sort of fade into the background just as you're highlighting the other stuff. But like I'm doing here, you can just remove any part that's too dark. So this is a way to go back and sort of fix anything that you don't like. And it's such a forgiving medium and it lifts so easily. You can also use blending solution or you can use alcohol lift ink to do either one of these. For me, rubbing alcohol doesn't have an offensive odor, so I like to use that, whereas sometimes the blending solution can have a stronger smell that I don't enjoy having out on my desk too much. So look at all those little details just shining through that beautiful layered medium background. Here is the finished card with this gorgeous little B, kept it pretty simple. And then here's a second one that I did with more of a monochrome look. The supplies are in the description. Head over to my blog for more information. And thanks so much for watching.